welcome to the Scholar Progenium. Today we've got another exciting bolt action battle report for you. We're going to be facing off the Finnish versus the Italians after the most recent FAQ and the mission is Manhunt. So first up we have the Finns and this is quite an interesting list and there's some significant changes in here um, if you're a regular viewer. So I haven't run my Finns for about a month, I've been playtesting Brits and all different kinds of things. So I've had some time to think and in that time also the FAQ dropped which gave all factions including minor, all minor factions in my case access to a utility car that dropped a... Uh, just on Tuesday, I think. So that's been the sort of final piece to the puzzle, whilst I've been scratching my head on these guys since the last tournament that I went to. So uh, without much further ado, let me talk you through what I've come up with. So starting off, I've got a second lieutenant, just regular, uh, on his own, that's the cheapest officer I can take. In terms of infantry, I have three squads of seven sissy fighters. They've no LMGs, no upgrades apart from they are all tough fighter and they all have master of the hunt, which is that all important finish rule where they can advance into ambush. Next up, we've got the Carcapatios. Only four of them have rifles. I had four points left over. Probably can do a little bit of streamlining with this list still. Um, so yeah, four rifles, five SMGs. They're all medics. They can also medic themselves. And most importantly of all, they can uh, uh, come on from any table edge um, from outflank. Next up, we have my final infantry squad, and that is five continuation war fighters with two Panzerfaust. Just as a little utility squad, they can take and hold objectives, and of course, they can dash up and pop a couple of shots at a tank. And if they take three casualties, they will upgrade to veteran. That's the other uh, finish rule. So then I'll have a... Uh, to a small target veteran double file squad, which should be uh, quite tasty. Uh, moving on from the infantry, we're going to the support options now. So I have a regular Finnish sniper. He's five points more than a, a normal sniper, but he comes with Master of the Hunt, so he can advance into ambush and uh, hit on a two up, because of course, when I fire rifles from ambush, the final finish rule is I get plus one to the hit, which is nice. Uh, we've then got a regular flamethrower and a regular Panzer Shrek team. I normally go vet, but we're, uh, <laughs> we're scraping the barrel out for points on this one. We've then got a regular Bofors heavy auto cannon, And then we have a regular BT-42. That's a medium howitzer. I really wanted to run the medium howitzer with the Bofors, even uh, with the uh, BT-42 and have a double three inch template but uh the bow force is just 15 points cheaper and uh has two shots is arguably much better and then finally we have a mortar medium mortar uh regular no spotter okay so i'm running him as if he's inexperienced that's kind of style but he's a little bit tougher i can't take an experience because i'm finnish and then finally we have the uh, newest addition to the finnish roster which is a utility car so it's a soft skin transport that can take up to three men it's just 21 points but it's just what we need to get that finish flamer into action a lot of the time i find uh i don't get much out of a flamer when i take it for the fins but that little combo there rounds out at a nice cheap 71 points for two dice and obviously a wheeled vehicle plus a flamethrower you know it's like a Jeep yeah. with a flamethrower yeah. in, but a little bit cheaper. So uh, happy with that. So yeah, with those changes, with uh, the time to think, I think I've come up with a very interesting update to the way I've been running the Finns. Can't wait to get them on the board against these Italians. Let's find out what JP's brought. So next up we have the Italians. Uh, using case blue rules today, JP? Yeah, case rule blues. We're going to continue having a little practice with them, see what they're all about. So today leading the army, we have an inexperienced officer just uh, inexperienced with one single blow to help him out. Um, we've got two squads of five late war Paraducci squads, all SMGs armed with one Panzerfaust each. Then we've got two squads of Basiglieri, uh, one all rifles, one with an LMG. 
um, to use the Bisiglieri rules from the case blue today. We then so got that's a, advance and fire without penalty? Advance and fire with the rifles without penalty. Very yet. nice. We've then got a squad of black shirts, the M Battalion, so this gives them all tough fighters. So I've got nine tough fighter black shirts there. Um, I've got a squad, a sniper veteran squad. Nice veteran, cool. Yeah, uh, a medium howitzer with gun shield, medium mortar with spotter, and then rounding out the list of the cars, I've got the AB41 and the M1542. And the AB41 is light auto cannon, um, but you get to re-roll the damage dice. Yeah, so from the case blue rules, they have improvised a T, so anything with a pen of three two or less. less. Yeah, yeah, three less or less. Less than three. three. Less than three, that's it. Can, yeah, um, yeah, so two or less. Re-roll the penetration roll. Yeah, it's got to be a heavy weapon though, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Rifles don't count. Unfortunately not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, the, the BT, what is it called again? M1542. M1542, uh, basically a DACA tank, it's got double hull mounted MMG, two turret mounted MMGs and a light mm -hmm. cannon. Yeah. Light, light, light auto light, cannon. Light anti-tank. Light anti-tank, I was going to say, uh oh. <laughs> no, that's fine, so no reroll damage for him, but 20 DACA dice, that's there. Uh, all he yeah. needs, really. Right, cool. So it's looking like a good list. Just changing up a couple of bits here and there, but basically... Yeah, just to try out the rules for each different battalion, going through Case Blue little by little. And I've got some more things to add to the list, hopefully, for next time. Um, so we'll see how this one performs. Yeah. Here we have the field of battle after deployment. Now, you join us in a mountainous region of Italy um, in some forested uh, sort of terrain between two bombed out and shelled hamlets or settlements. Now we've got a larger building um, connected to by a road over on this flank here, surrounded by a bit of hard cover and a patchy bit of soft cover. Over on the other flank, it's a similar situation, this time a couple of smaller ruins, another hard cover surrounded field with patches of soft cover on the other side. Sort of two little, maybe this was a little sheep or goat farm over this side and a nice Italian villa on the other, you could imagine. In between these two areas, we find our Italian officer hidden away and hounded for some reason, much to his surprise, by a group of bloodthirsty Finns. Bounty hunters. Bounty hunters, perhaps. He's uh, rather surprised at their presence in Italy, but... Nonetheless, he has crossed them in some way, or one of their enemies, who knows, and now they want to take him, capture him, and who knows? Who knows? So, to win the game, the Finns, as the attacker, they have to attack and kill the officer in close combat, which could be quite difficult, because as you can see, we've got all this dense, obscuring cover in the middle. He's hidden away in the forest, fancies his chances there a bit more. Maybe if, considers himself safer from the uh, artillery that's already smashed up these settlements here. <laughs> now, um, he's also surrounded, he's got some uh, chosen uh, bodyguards, so to speak, he's got a squad of Basigliari in hidden setup in this obscuring bit of soft cover here. He's got an artillery piece set up on the rocky outcrop. This is a rocky outcrop. This is again, difficult ground. So it's gonna be hard to assault him. Um, and overlooking the Finnish deployment zone. I have to come on first wave um, from this edge here. He's also got his mortar hidden away here, um, and that's the rest of his army. got six dice coming on from reserve. Oh, sniper. Uh, oh, and also your sniper hidden away successfully. I forgot <laughs> about him. Uh, just out of 12 inches from the centre, so he can't be struck by the prep bombardment because he's out of the deployment zone. Now, there is one final thing to note, which is that if I shoot the officer and kill him, then I can force a draw. So to win, JP has to survive with that officer until the end of the game. So with all that being said, I'll get Big Blue out and we'll roll for prep bump. Okay, so um, needing a two up. Uh, yes, we got it. Okay. Okay, Bisigliari first. It's a nothing. Good that. start. Artillery piece, come on. Nothing. Oh, oh big blues failing me now. Uh, officer can't be killed. I'll go with the mortar next. Give me a six. No. So he will take two pins. Now the officer, he can take a max of two pins. He takes one. 
So it's not a bad start. The Italians have only taken, what, three pins in total. So uh, now we'll get dice in the bag and we'll start uh, coming dice up. dice of the game is finished. I'm going for a shot on his mortar team there. Um, need to hit on a three and uh, kill on a four. Huh? So we've got the hit. Come on now. No, but it is a pin. So he's on three now. We're a fair way through turn one. The Italians have gone down with all their off-board dice. Now they're going to attempt a run order with the mortar. That was a lane. No. No. I was thinking about holding this off till the end of the turn. But I've decided to dash up this road with my utility car, Flamer inside. Okay, it's a tense moment. The Finnish Flamer's making a dash for it towards the sniper. He's going to pop his ambush uh, over iron sights and the uh, spotter's gonna try and blast away with his pistol at the same time. So spotter's hitting on a six. Nope. 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 And uh, sniper on a three, because point blank but small target. He's got a hit, needing a four, because I'm a reg. No, but it is a pin. So that pin could be important now. It's gonna be a four to hit with the flamer. Mm -hmm. Come on, lad. Yes, oh, he's got the six. hit. Right, okay, so um, D3 plus one pins. It's only two pins. Um, D6 hits, right? Two hits. So two on twos. Yeah, pen three in it. So we've killed them. Okay, so that was a quite a spicy manoeuvre. The Basigliari haven't acted yet, they're right there, but I do have some sissy on ambush looking down at them uh, that we've already checked to see they can uh, see. So now I just need to check for my fuel. And he does run out of fuel, okay. <laughs> Curses, I can't believe I ran out of fuel on the first time I pulled <laughs> off that trick. A dice for a dice, man. <laughs> and uh, if I don't do something about getting a unit closer to this transport, he's gonna drive off just because of the Basigliari there. Uh, we're down to the last few dice in the bag. Not many options for the Bofors to come on, where the Howitzer, in its elevated position in ambush, can't just shoot and uh, hit me in the open. So I've had to advance on to this rocky outcrop head here, so I'm at least in soft cover. It is going to make it a four to hit for him. Tense. Tense moment. Come on, miss this. Yes! Oh. Okay, that's what we right. need. Italian dice, and he's advancing with the Basigliari. He's going to try and scare off this truck. Now I'm going to pop my seven rifles from ambush. I'm going to be hitting on fours here. It's only two hits and no kills, just a pin. He's spraying small arms fire from the hip over at that truck. He's got two shots on sixes followed by sixes. Ooh, oh, potential. potential. Oh, yes, okay. that's a hit. <laughs> uh, then he's got four on sixes and four on fives. Two more hits. It's going well. With four on fives. No, oh, oh. nice. And you just need a six now. No, nothing. <laughs> okay. That's my last dice now. It puts me in an interesting position because I don't know if I can run my mortar close enough to save him. Is it worth running out of position? Um, but it's swapping two dice for one on my own manoeuvre. Hard <laughs> thing. So I've run my medium mortar on there. We've measured it up. I'm just over eight inches away. JP's just over nine. So I have saved that truck. That is the end of turn one. I could end up trading two dice for one there. Uh, two more dice. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Because um, we're now going to be in confused fight where JP can come on from any board edge. So anything is potentially at risk. Although I, of course, can do the same to him. So at the end of that turn, it's been an interesting one. JP mainly hidden. So, um, so not much exchange of fire, a lot of units off the board still. Uh, the sniper obviously putting a pin on the mortar, forcing it to go down when it attempts to run, to reposition. Uh, JP attempts to rally on his officer, Ooh. got an 11, went down. So that's unfortunate for him. How it's a miss on a four. <laughs> <laughs> How it's a miss on a four, but um, he did get a decent burst on the truck. Um, he's put a pin on there, but 
didn't manage to damage it. Um, so it's all to play for. You've still got a fair few dice, and ultimately, oh, yeah. I we both lost a dice because I ran my flamethrower and killed your veteran sniper. He then ran out of fuel and dashed off himself. But point, it's not a points game; it's a dice game, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in the bag. But still, regular flamer for a veteran sniper. Ultimately, yeah. it's a fine trade off. I would have liked more. I mean. I've if I had a flamethrower there was, right now, I, I don't think you'd run towards me. Because the flamethrower could easily remove a full squad of veterans as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's a good start for you. Okay, it's less anti-tank on the board mm -hmm. as well. So we'll get dice in the bag. Um, so it's now 12 to 10? Yeah, 12 to 10. 12 to 10, okay. First dice is finished. And I've decided to advance into ambush with one of my sissy squad. I've come on with the wall between me and this flank wall and dense cover between me and this flank and obviously a fair bit of range and with although i'm in the open myself um basically that allows me to keep running next turn and i can always go down if he does get a decent uh, angle on me so we're six dice in to turn two uh, six finished dice at that uh jp's still waiting for his first italian one i've advanced my office uh sniper up onto this hill and into ambush just getting him uh a bit safer from the table edges. I've put my bow fours on ambush. I've advanced the sissy to uh, towards the officer, and uh, of course put them on ambush as well. It's a nice little trick because it means I can still go down if he tries to come on and point blank me from a table edge. I've also advanced my or run my mortar six inches into the ruin there, just uh, again securing my position. Turn two. Let's put it that way. And then I've had two units come on from reserve and I ummed and ahed about locking down my own table edge, but I decided to sort of push forward a little bit. And instead I've brought on two sissy squad, so as we saw this one earlier, and now this squad uh, in some rough ground soft cover and they're in ambush as well. I order on the Italian Hoitz and now he's plon plonking a shot just straight into the sissy in front of him. I've elected to go down, making it a six. Okay. Come on, this hit's really good. Good start. No, thankfully not. Another Italian dice. He's certainly owed a few. Uh, he's advanced on with his paratrooper squad and he's going to strafe up the bow fours at point blank range. I'm going to go down soft cover, but point blank. You all SMGs. All SMGs. I'll be fives. Five. Oh, uh, four hits, not too bad. Four yeah, just Rex. Oh, I've just got one. I'll take that. One of the pin. Half the fins. And we've rolled on, continuing on the back lines for the Italians. And we're shooting the Howitzer at the Howitzer. So it's going to be a five to hit, moved and soft cover. You can't go down. Come on now, lad. This will be clutch. Nope. Next dice is Italian. He's advanced on with some Basigliari. He's going to strafe up the mortar at point blank range. He doesn't care about moving and shooting with the rifles. Have you got an LMG? No, one SMG and seven rifles. One so. SMG, seven rifles. It's going to be forced to hit. Oh, that's a bad roll. <laughs> uh, needing fours. One kill. I'm just small team. Italian dice next. He's going for a run order with the officer. Uh, there's a fair few Ital uh, finish on ambush there. He's got to do an order check. Obviously, um, I'm not going to shoot you and go for the draw turn two. That'd yeah. be boring. Um, relying on the fact that you're not going to shoot when you're going to be a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> he he pass. JP's officer is just rocking it in the open. Uh, he knows I don't want to shoot him. I want that win. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> can see him with a fair few units there, but that's a nice placement in the centre of the board. He's dashing away, but hopefully I can surround it. The finish dice, and it's very tricky. I want to come on at one of the flanks, really, with my car Carpaccios. Um, but really, if I do that, it then exposes the back of my BT-42 to uh, JP's two vehicles. He's got an auto cannon and a light anti-tank gun that could come on. So that's tricky. Um, so I'm deciding to just... Come on this flank here. I'm gonna fire four shots over into Spasigliari. Try and put him onto two pins. Um, need to pass an order check first with the Carcapatios. Uh, they do pass it. 
Okay, so it's going to be four rifle shots. The SMG's out of range. It's fives. Oh, three hits. That's nice. Need fives again, though. Mm -hmm. Nothing, but two pins. That's what I want. He's advancing on with his regular squad. Now, I've decided to go down with the snipers. Just weather the storm for now. Um, it's difficult, but I think he would just bring his DACA tank on. They're too much of a juicy target. So it's, what, 10 rifles now? 10 shots, uh, 8 rifles and SMG. Okay. All sixes, six all sixes. sixes. No, no, three, three chances. Four, 10 shots. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, he actually yeah. has a head. There's uh, a man happens, yeah. Oh. I'm fine in that. Woof. That was close. <laughs> the Italians are mixing it up and they're coming on a flank, unlocking my deployment zone edge. He's going to try and shoot up the utility car in the side. He's got two shots and he's going to be hitting on threes there. Oh, one cocked. Oh, one hit. He's got reroll damage. No. One's always a fail. That is a pen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's knocked out. Um, okay, cool. But that's interesting. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, it's very cat and mouse, very tactical manhunt. Very fun. The Italians have just had their last two dice of turn two. They've advanced on or run on, but hop the wall. Yeah. Um, this flank with their remaining paratrooper squad. Just making sure I can't dash on behind here. I now, and also he's gone down with the tank, the DACA tank. And I have two units left. Okay, so in the end, I decided to go down with my Shrek team. And I have a run on with the regulars with the Panzerfaust just to behind this building and stuck in this soft cover here on this flank. So JP's still got a tank off the board, his DACA tank. I've still got my... Panzer Shrek team off the board. It's a little bit more cat and mouse mm -hmm. in terms of reserves. However, the main event is, of course, the cat and mouse in the forest. Uh, his officer has dashed up here. In other news, he rallied the Basigliari here, got the two pins off them, and he also rallied the three pins off the mortar. So he's uh, sort of prepped himself. As we saw, he lit up this uh, soft-skinned utility truck, but it did its job. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm still learning that tactic. Mm -hmm. I don't normally do flamethrower dark well, charges. Otherwise, yeah. it's perfectly good. The play was correct. Yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? And uh, it's just interesting, you know, just getting mm -hmm. uh, used to that kind of thing. And then, um, yeah, as we saw, of course, apart from those couple of rallies, uh, JP has just sort of, he's got a solid defensive line here. And he's got his officer in some open ground so he can keep running. I have one squad in the open ground. I've got a truck, a vehicle and a squad of sissy who are bogged down. They can only go six inches next turn. So they'll be sort of doing the fire, uh, the cover fire and that kind of thing. And then I've got my Carcapatios over here. And they're in the open so they can get running next turn. Because we've got to chase this officer down. On the other side of the board, I've got this sissy squad. They're pretty close there. So... We've got a couple of options, but he has cleared this route somewhat. It's just, who knows where he's going to end up. It's kind of a balance between surrounding him and also not exposing any of my units too much. So, uh, with all that being said, there is one final thing, which is that we have to pop the ambushes. Now, I did go down with my sniper. However, I've got this sissy squad here, and I've got this sissy squad here still on ambush. So uh, the one on the left for up, uh, yep, we get to fire it, and the one on the right, uh, yes, okay. So they're probably, the one on the left will probably go for the mortar, and the one on the right will probably go for these Basigliari. I'll just have a look for a fire. Okay, so first blast, seven shots in the open. Um, so it's just over half range threes, because I'm shooting from ambush with rifles on the mortar team. Um, there's a couple of ones there, but it's mainly hits. And then needing fours, right? Yeah. On the mortar. Uh, we've done the whole squad. That's nice. That's the dice out of the bag. 
good, good fins. And then um, we're doing, instead of the Basigliari, the other squad, I decided to shoot up into the howitzer because again, it's fours and I'm shooting from beh I'm behind the gun shield. So, um, oh, that's a nice little burst there. Four hits and then killing on fours. Come on, lads. Um, two kills, I'll take that. That's a pin. You've got to do a leadership check, right? Mm -hmm. Eight, nine. It's okay. You're regular, right? Yeah, it's it's fine. Okay, so that's two of the crew dead from the medium howitzer. And um, yeah, the mortar wiped out. So that's a nice little uh, twist at the end of turn two. We'll get the dice in the bag and see if we can hunt down this officer turn three. First dice of turn three is finished and we're gonna have to danger close both fours, these pa uh, paratroopers here. He's decided to go down. So overall, it's gonna be sixes with two shots. Come on, lads. No, next dice is finished. I've advanced into the ruin here. I'm gonna be popping two Shreks at point blank range, but I'm shooting through a fair bit of that ruin, so it is fives to hit with two Shreks. JP's thought about it and he's not going to wreck you away. He wants to keep this dice active and he doesn't, you know, if he, he could end up vulnerable to the Shrek that still can come on. Yeah. So I need I need the vehicle in the game, otherwise the officer's got no chance. That's just do, do, mm. you're doing their job yeah. for them. This way, well, who knows? That they will just be a normal infantry squad after this. I need a five here. Come on, lads. Oh no, I miss. <laughs> Oh, I'm this is finished. We're pushing up with the BT-42. I'm going to slam a shot into these Basigliari. He's decided to hit the deck, making it a six. Um, I am in point blank, but I'm just shooting through a, a, over an inch of that soft cover there. So, hopefully we can get a six here. No. <laughs> we have another finished dice. The Sissy are going to advance out of this dense terrain into the open. But uh, putting it behind them, so to speak, uh, so a little safer from that board edge, not really though. They're spraying up, instead of going into ambush, into the howitzer. It's forced him down, so that's another Italian dice gone down this turn. Uh, we are pushing in and encroaching around them. Um, but yeah, I've got that tank off the board, I've always got to keep that in the back of my mind. Uh, so it's going to be now seven shots on six, followed by sixes because he's gone down. See if we can get lucky. We've got two chances. No. Next dice is Italian. He's going for an obvious one. He's going to charge my mortar. We will fight at the same time, but it should be a guaranteed dice out the bag. So Finn's on the left, the Sigliari on the right. Big blue stuff fighter. I've got no kills. You won't be out easily. <laughs> Italian regulars are just going to spray up at the Beaufort's crew. Try and uh, suppress them as they point blank these pair of paratroopers. <laughs> two old fives. Good nice. One. And then two, four, five, six, seven. Another good burst. So, fours. Mm -hmm. oh, Hard yeah, does them. You should check for the bow force crewman on a seven. Yes, he pulls it off. He's staying. Finish officer runs on. Uh, pistol drawn, and then locks down this flank from reserves. The Kakapatios have had a run order, and I'm just spreading out, sort of herding his officer here, trying to make sure that at all angles I can see him and I'm in the open. It does expose me to counter fire. JP has four dice in the bag. I think I've got one left, probably. Um, but... You know, odds on one of these units survives and can charge the officer next turn, hopefully. Final sissy squad darts up, uh, dashing around the dense cover and just trying to close the uh, ring around JP's uh, lieutenant. The Italian officer darts out towards the burning wreckage of the utility car, trying to dodge and weave through the units of Finnish and closing around him with the Finns encircling the Italians, whooping and crying like wolves as they chase this officer through the woods. He's screaming for armored support down the radio set to his, <laughs> to his assistant. Um, he's gonna roll for his, what's it called again? M1542. M1542. Take this bad boy on. 
He's on. Yes, he's on. Okay. Uh, he's rolled up onto this rocky outcrop. He's going to blitz down into these uh, sissy here. I'm going down with them. They were on ambush. Uh, that'll make it sixes followed by sixes with ten shots. He's then popping a shot, soft cover moved um, into the BT-42 with the light gun in the front there. So that's going to be a five. Mm -hmm. So, big gun on a five. Nope. No. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got a couple of chances there. Oh, I'll take it, yes. Right, okay. So we are at the end of turn three. The paratroopers ran up through the field unharassed. Uh, they've just got, got that table course to themselves right now. I ran on uh, with the second to last dice, sorry, advanced into this terrain here and I was point blank in the back of the armoured car. So of course he wreckied and he's come around here and he's put the infantry squad between my 24 inch range, uh, Panzer Shrek and himself. So uh, that is the end of turn three. And as we've already seen, the Finns are just really trying to position so that they can get the run and charge into the office. I'm probably not able to get him at the moment. There's only so many places he can run and hide. We've kind of herded him out of the dense terrain now, which is good. Um, in terms of the Italians, they have brought quite a decent amount of forces on. They've got a pocket of three decent forces here, a decent squad of regulars, a tank, and some uh, paratroopers. And then they've also got their veterans and an armoured car over here. So this is a nice little uh, flank of units that they've got. My, uh, I've got two sort of isolated units here, a squad of regulars with rifles and a Panzer Shrek team. He's got an isolated squad of infantry here. They're just moving up to link. This is basically his second pocket. He's got a beaten, uh, beaten up howitzer there. He's got his basigliari who've been pinned down in the middle of the board all game. And he's got his officer. Uh, and he's trying to sort of keep these guys linked up defensively as the Finns just push on. I was worried about that dash that I might take a lot of damage that turn, but fortunately, uh, we got away with it. So although we're struggling to catch him, we uh, so far we've got some good positioning, some good board control, and uh, we've sort of, for the main part, split up the Italians. So, I'm gonna put dice in the bag, get into turn four. Do I have any ambushes left no, to pop? I went down. down, I've got one sniper here. Well, I may as well shoot him at your howitzer. Needing a two. You have four first. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> nope. <You're laughs> I, got, I got the two. Uh, and I think that's it. First dice of turn four is finished. We're going for a sissy charge. We're going to try and wipe out these basigliari, clear the way for the carcapaccios into the officer. It's a big charge here. Okay, rules question for you guys out there. I am within six inches through this obscuring terrain here. So... The surprise charge says if an attacking unit is within six inches, they can't do reactionary fire. Although my unit that's nearest to nearest with invisible is, sorry, sort of 11 inches away. So I can pull the charge off, just running around the obscuring terrain because you just move the first guy and then the rest move regardless of distance. And then secondary rule, this guy is within six here so they can, you know, surprise him. That's my interpretation. JP reckons he gets overwatch. We're going to give him the overwatch, whatever, it's no big deal. Two hits. Two hits. Oh, kill, that's nice. No specialist. Fight, see. Tough fighter. Uh, we've got a kill, just one. Need another here. Yes, we've got another. So I did tough fight first. These vats are eggs. They're vats. No. no. Okay, I'm nervous here. Butchered them. Butchered them, yeah. Killed three. That's unfortunate. Dice is Italian and the tank revs its engine, steams down into the woodland. He's going to pop a shot into the front of the BT-42, give the beans to the sissy. I'm going to stay up with them, so it's going to be fives for everything. See on a five? No, oh, thank gosh. And five on the sissy. Just one, two, two. Yes. And 
Five, two, nine, four, nine, six, nine. seven, eight, nine. I'm on my way, sorry. Yeah, three hits. No, no kill. Dice don't rip like rewind. <laughs> Dice is finished. We're going for a run order, and these guys going for another assault on the sissy. We've got the uh, officer nearby. We're okay. Fighting first there. Tough fighter, seven veterans. Come on, lads. Uh, we've only got oh. one again, man. If I'd lose two squads, these basically are, it'll be something. <sighs> Come on. Well, it's off the board. There's probably a low number. Yes, we have got it's two again. Right, so you've got how many back? Four. So got four for so three and one tough fighter. <sighs> three on fives. One. That's one. Tough fighter. Oh, uh, it's off the board. Yes. Yes, okay, can he win it? No! Okay, we go to another round. Okay, uh, same time now, I think. Yeah. Ready? So you'll be on the yeah, right, I'll be on the right. You're a tough fighter for me. You're going to be a tough fighter. I'm all tough fighter. Come on. Come on, Finns, for Finland. Uh, we've got two kills. Got three. Yes. Oh, I cannot <laughs> believe that. <laughs> Finland tough fighter for you. Sorry? Tough fighter. Oh, yes. It is. I've got a tough fighter on the green as well. Okay. So we've both got two more rolls. Oh, I've got one roll. You've got one. I've got two. Two. You've got three kills so you've far. Got two. <sighs> Gosh, this is intense. Nothing, so you've so won it. Won. Here's what it is. Yeah. <sighs> These particular are are so many. I don't know, against the odds, <laughs> twice. Six inch consolidated. Let's try and block these guy, the uh, officer off as much as possible. I'm just hoping to get that dice so I can charge around these guys, but uh, he's doing his best to fend me off. That's for sure. Once more into the breeze. <laughs> Cargo Badgers. <laughs> Alright, come on, Timo, my son. I should have sent you in first. Seriously. If you can kill <laughs> these guys as well, I cannot <laughs> believe this. This is just pure revenge now. I've seen red. <laughs> Tactics are out the window. Right, we've killed you. Okay. You're dead. Alright, D6 consolidate. See if I can wrap and trap, baby. <laughs> I get through. There's certainly danger close there, but he can activate and dash away. But I think at this point, he can go a maximum of six inches. It's either over that wreck or over that wall. It's time for the BT-42 to take things into his own hands. I really need this to come off now. Uh, on a three to hit, it's move but point blank in the side. Yes, we've got the hit. Save that for the last Okay, so we'll save it. Okay, four to glance. Seven on the side. Yeah, three. Yeah. Yes, we've got the glance. Okay. okay. Cool. We've immobilized you. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, and then it's going to be, so that's an extra pin plus uh, a pin. So that's two pins and immobilized. I'll take it. Blown the track off with a high explosive shell. Yeah. It'll do for now. going for a fire order on advance. one pin here. Oh, advance. Yeah, so we to rotate. Spin, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a little down. Uh, so you, you're skipping the BT and rotating all the way to the sissy, aren't you? Yeah. So it'll be a four to hit. You're shooting through. No cover. That's no. <laughs> Ah, uh, hmm. We'll be back. I have to go down with these sissy for now, you know. I've lost two squads this turn already. We are getting close, but I don't want to throw it away, so uh, go on. It's a six to hit. Six. Oh, <sighs> He's charging the bow fours. Uh, it's through difficult grounds. We fight at the same time. Come on. Come on, bow fours crew. You can do it. Plug your regular. No, five auto fighter. Veterans. One with an entrenching tool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Come on, lad. Yes, he gets a kill. Oh, you oh, do yeah. get him. You do get him, yeah. just about. Dancing out with the second squad of Persiglieri. I'm going to shoot up, trying to avenge their friend. Kill the Kaka party. No shots, not even fours. Well, it's not a great bear. It's just three heads. Take that. Need that. We just need to sit there and survive now. Oh, one, one kill. Possible medic. Medic! No. Finish Panzer Shrek team advance and try to pop a shot into the rear of the armoured car, but the driver sees it out the top of his action, dashes away with a recce behind this ru ruin here. 
the continuation war squad, seeing the sissies bayoneted down and hacked apart by the desperate uh, but brave Italian defenders. Um, we now, they've pushed forward up against this wall. They're going to fire five rifle shots over here and just try and get Ray to head off the lieutenant if he makes a dash for that field. Okay, and that, a pin would be nice here. So that's going to be four pins. Wow. Oh, no, four, four pins, pins, obviously. <laughs> that would be nice for kills. Uh, we still get two kills. I'll certainly take that in a five man squad. There's a six there as well. And the sniper team continue to make their way across the board. This time, the spotter draws his pistol. The sniper, they're both going to shoot into the artillerymen. They're closing in for a little assassination in the back of the head. Um, love the Finnish snipers, just like advancing through the thick woodland. Even though this is Italy, feels just like home. <laughs> Right, so we're needing to, um, it's probably about the soft cover, but yeah. move, but the pistol doesn't care. So the pistol's on a three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rifle on a four. No. Okay, killing on a four. He does get him in the back of the head. Last man and one pin or two. One four. pin, you cleared it already. He's okay. Time for run order with the paratroopers. He's going to try and charge into these guys. Do a counter clear. Yeah. He passes. Three tough fighters fighting first next to that burning utility car. Needing fours, come on. Needing fours, it's regs. He's got one kill. It's not a good start. One oh, kill. No, that's not good. Okay, come on. So four fives. back, right? Three and fives. Three and fives, come on. We've done it! Yes! Yes! Back and forth. Oh, it's a tough, it's tough assaulting in this terrain here. Oh, that's good. And a D6 uh, consolidate to boot. That's just what we needed to get back on the game. Three inch finish dice and the officer darts up towards this field, ready to support his men. Now it's the final Italian dice and it is the officer who's been holding on to this point. It's a chance to wiggle away. <laughs> You can only go six inches though. It's valiant last stand time really. Now he's decided not to charge and try and do a full breakout, although that was on the cards. He decided instead to clamber up onto this wreckage because it will mean he'll fight at the same time against anyone who tries to assault him. Uh, <laughs> right wing was on the wall, I think, in terms of trying to actually escape. So he's going to try and shoot these guys. If he can kill a couple of them and drive them off, the path is clear. So uh, a pistol and an SMG, three shots. Three it's hits. three hits, four to kill. It's a good little burst, one dead, oh, potentially the sergeant. No. So with that heroic maneuver from the Italian officer, we are on to the end of turn four. And as we can see, despite some heavy casualties, the Finns have managed to keep surrounding and chasing down that Finnish officer as he sort of stumbles his way into the smoke at the uh, smoking wreckage at the edge of the village here is heavy though. We're doing everything we can to uh, keep this uh, armoured car and tank at arm's length whilst the infantry do their job. Um, but there's plenty of forces that can uh, deal with my own units and free them up. So it's really down to who the initiative, who gets the first dice. And uh, the Italians have fought well and it's now seven dice each in the bags. So they've managed to kill two more than I have. Uh, that's those two assaults uh, <laughs> throwing away two units there. However, uh, we have all the dice in the bag, and it's you know it's basically down to this yeah. now. Pull it live. Pull it live. Come Hopefully, on. I can get a charge up. Need an Italian dice here. Stephen Stevens. It's black, right? It's got to be the Carcapaccios, hasn't it? It's got to be. They're the most likely to kill them. Yeah. So I'll. Uh, is it a pin on them? One there is a pin. There's a pin. Okay. Fail. No! Yes. Fuba! I cannot believe it. Okay, There's a chance. Guys. There's a chance. I cannot, but man. Come on, roll I'm one. I'm trying my best here. It's no. So they go down. Oh, they, they run, away. run away, I think. Gotcha. With a roar, the Basigliari charge into the middle of the road. They're going to try and free up their officer. They're going to shoot up my regulars at essentially some of them point blank range some of them not 
think I've got to go down because you don't care about moving. I'm going to stay up. I think I've got to. I either get lucky or I don't. And if I get one man surviving as a veteran, maybe you can do the job. Yeah. Twos. And threes. Okay, so there's a chance. <laughs> Not much of one, but there's a chance. Fours. Get He's only two. killed two. Okay, they go up to veteran. A leadership ten. Two pins. One guy remaining the sergeant. Uh, Eleven, oh, they wow. run. Oh, I'm rolling high right now. I need to save <laughs> these for the hits. That's a squad white. Next dice is Italian. Is going for a fire order with the tank. On two pins. Someone hard needs the seven. Let's go. He passes. Goes down to one pin. So he's point blank, but a pin, and I am over 50% of my hull in that area terrain there, so that's soft cover. So it's going to be a four with the light anti tank gun in the side, yeah. and then six is on the machine gun into the car capatios. So big gun. Okay, it's a hit. That's a hit on the four. So side armor. That's seven. Seven. No, oh. just a pin. I'm going lucky with the <laughs> <laughs> on these tank hits. Yeah, I'm going to one, one hit. hit. Oh, one hit. One kill. Medic. No. Next dice is finished. We're going for a run order with the Panzer Shrek team. Time to show everyone else how it's done. They're only regular, but. The lieutenant for the Italians is inexperienced. We'll be fighting at the same time. I'll have to clamber up that hull and batter him to death with my Panzer Shrek. <laughs> so it's a uh, fours for him with Tough Fighter, mm -hmm. pistol and SMG. Threes for me. Fins on the right, fins on the left. Come on now, boys, for Finland. Nothing! Oh my gosh! He executes oh, him in the head. Shoots him in the head with the pistol as he clambers up. Gosh, what is that? A five do? inch consolidate roll. He dashes just to the edge of this building. Hearing the cries of the infantry that the Shrek team have been wiped out, the armored car crew decide to batten down the hats hatches and dash forward, blazing away with that autocannon into the front of the BT 42. So it's going to be a move soft cover with two shots. In fives. In fives. Oh, it's a hit. And then re-roll this. Re-roll five to glance, I believe. Five plus oh six to glance. No. 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 Five plus two, seven. Five Not nine. quite. Whoa. Close. A couple more re inches you could have got in the side, but you uh he's getting there. He's getting there. Two or more. Is Italian. He's going to try and lob a shot into these guys. Oh well, it's over open sides actually, just blast into them. Fire order. Needing a seven. Yes, failed that, needed that. <laughs> <laughs> so the Finns are in a bit of a tricky situation now. Mid turn five, we've uh, committed and lost several units. The Italians now have the advantage on dice in the bag. Uh, I've got to get that momentum back. So it's going to be sniper shooting. I'm not risking the charge. <laughs> um, into We would fight at the same time. Yeah, we would fight at the same time. It's just too risky. I'm only regular. So uh, needing threes, because it's point blank with soft cover. We've got a kit hit. Need a four now. Come on, lad. Yes, <sighs> we've killed him. This is activating. I'm running six inches into this ruin. Hard cover, small target. It's going to be hard for me to even pull a draw. It's time to go for a fire order on the BT-42. Can he slug his way out of this situation? It's a... Fubar again. again. Oh, golly gosh. Oh, my goodness. Right. Let's see what we get. Please don't frag the... Thankfully not. Two Italian dice. And he's just advancing. He's decided not to take the shot with the Panzerfaust. It'd be a six to hit. And he can't quite get round this obscuring terrain to shoot the Carcapatios. So um, just moving up, taking position to make sure I can't push in and chase down his officer in this table quarter. So it's a really nice secure position at the tail end of turn five for the Italians there. I've got two dice left, so my officer and these sissy. Final dice, I've run with the sissy squad that was back here 
and have hot the wall with the officer gun six inches rated dart around this side. So we've still <laughs> we've still got a block of forces, but we have been paying a heavy price to advance. It's now the Finns who are surrounding. Yeah, it's now the Finns who are surrounding. Although this guy is killed, um, I'm looking like I might have to try and shoot your officer to uh, you know get him with the uh, sniper if I can. But otherwise, I'm looking to struggle going into turn six and chase him down. Now that you're in that. Difficult to ground ruin. So Italians have really done well. They've secured their lines as we've seen. Uh, there's not, it's gonna be difficult to get through a squad of veterans, squad of veterans and a squad of regulars and two vehicles. I do have veterans to my name uh, and the BT-42 and the sniper's done a good job over here. But, but uh, two foo bars have been critical. <sighs> two foo bars, man. So you've got a had you surrounded, surrounded. Uh, with a mission. Uh, no, no, that is this is manhunt. Oh, it's manhunt. Oh, it's gosh. Apologize. Close, close. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's felt a, little, a bit, bit like an uphill battle. But I kind of knew that was what we were going for, and it's been really, yeah. really cool, kind of chasing you and you, you know, scrabbling and uh, darting <laughs> and dashing, and somehow, yeah, surviving and getting into this ruin. We've come a long way. It has to be said. So uh, we'll get the dice in the bag and we'll uh, play out turn six. First dice of turn six is finish. We just got to keep pushing, boys. So we're run, doing a run order. Try and charge down these particularities. You can hit me on sixes with how many shots? Nine. Nine. He's got a hit. No oh. kills this time. Oh, thankfully. <laughs> right, so it's seven versus eight, but I strike first. With a roar, the Finns once again charge, bayonets fixed. Uh, we're fine first. Mm -hmm. Needing fives, tough fighter. Come on, lads. Nothing. Oh my oh, gosh. Deary me. These are early. Two. Yeah, I mean, what? Oh, what can you Literally, do? it's not like. <laughs> <sighs> no words. Next dice is BT42 for the Finns. We're going for another point blank shot in the side. Past the order checks, we've just got one pin to go. So it's going to be a three to hit. Yeah. 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 Point blank. Yes. Right, okay. Five to glance. Uh, four to glance four in the glance side. Five. Come on, lad. He's got a pen. Come on, lad. Come on, BT. We need this. Four, five, or six. Knock this guy out. Win the duel. No, but it's a double immobilized. Yes. Knock the other track off and the crew abandon the vehicle. Just what we needed. The Carcapachos make a run. They're overcharge range. But fortunately, oh, there's trees set on fire in the process. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they're basically, we're, we're playing for turn seven. If we can have a chance, we'll take it. But uh, it's looking like it's uh, going to be very difficult. Um, the Italian scalped Yeah, yeah, he's squirming and slithering away. <laughs> Paras advance down from the rocky outcrop into the woodland. They're going to try and faust the BT-42 in the side at point blank range and spray three SMGs over into the Carcapachos in the open. Okay, Faust is going to be moved but soft cover. Moved, soft cover, point blank. Yeah. So, four, four, Faust. No! no! Move a point blank, that's a three. Soft cover four. Yeah, just check, making sure. Yeah, yeah. Just making sure. Six shots. Nope. Oh, that's, well, that's nice. uh, D20. <laughs> Certainly gonna find it easy to roll over with, <laughs> with that. So, um, that's five. gonna be five hits, yes. Okay. Um, five kill. Mm -hmm. He's got a kill there. Can he get a specialist? Oh, there's fives. Oh, yeah. So can I... Yeah. yeah no, he can't get the specialist. So... Can medicate. Me I can try and medicate. Yeah, exactly. Come on, medic. No. Down to two men. Come on, Timo. You can do this, lad. <laughs> Somehow. I'm relying on you. Picking off in the middle of the woods now. Uh, the uh, armoured car's advanced forward. He's going to try and shoot his rear... Facing whole mounted machine gun, very useful on an Italian tank to shoot uh, people as you're running away. But on this uh, <laughs> on this occasion, he's trying to pivot and hopefully be very cunning manoeuvre, I have to say, within point blank of both the cargo partios. 
and the BT-42. He's going to try and strafe him up whilst he's uh, busy admiring his handiwork on that burning wreck there. So, so to measure it, I'm sure you're within six. That's got to be. It's from the barrel. No, no he's, he's out. out. Oh, never mind. But he's wet. Oh, I've got in That's cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That, that's the important one. Yeah. Okay, so. so two shots in the side, moved soft cover. Or point blank. Or point blank. Fours again. Fours again. So, one to hit. One hit. Okay, so it's on the seven on the side, you need a five to glance, re rolling. It's got the pen. Nice work. Okay. Can he light up this BT42? No, he's in return. He's knocked him out. <laughs> Tracks flying everywhere. BT42 is now mobilized. Can you lock his turret Come facing on. that direction? No, no you cannot. Really We're just an armored pillbox now, my friend. <laughs> Small target on the carcapatio, spraying away with that rear machine gun. He's got a hit, and you get the kill. No, it's just a pin. Next dice is finished. I've advanced with the sniper into ambush. We're just looking to pick off that officer, <laughs> um, or you know, take a shot at him at the end of the turn, hopefully. I didn't want to have to go for this. I didn't want to shoot you from the draw, but you've, uh, you, <laughs> you've forced my hand, JP. Italian regulars advancing down into the village, shooting with their rifles from the hip at these carcapatios. However, the small target is hopefully gonna help in some way. It's gonna be seven shots on fives, two on sixes followed by sixes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on fives. Come on, Timo. He's, oh, he's hitting you. This is Timo right here. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> <I mean. laughs> Come on, let's take Timo out. No! Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, and then the I think six gonna have six, six, something six. to say about that in the comment section. Oh, uh, there's a potential. There's a chance. No. no. <laughs> there's a pin. Okay. Oh, four pins. That's my uh, chance of getting Come on, Timo. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Ah, am I within six there? Is there a chance? Who knows? Dice of turn six. He's gone for a run order. I've gone for a run order with the officer. Um, hopefully to reinforce these guys if we go to turn seven. Last dice of turn six. It's the Italian officer. He's uh, decided he could advance, try and get out of the uh, ruin and behind obscuring nice and safe to turn seven. But he does chance the sniper popping a shot, whereas if he doesn't move, I have to roll a four up to get that. Yeah, uh, so I'm giving you the 50-50. Yeah, so it's better, better to take the 50-50. Now I am, you know, that's gambling on me playing for the draw and I mm. never really played for the draw but I think it's turn six you know it's turn six I've got, I'll roll to see if he can pop the ambush mm. I'll roll to see if he can do it um it's been an exciting one just chasing you through you know <laughs> through holding off fights and the BT's been held off by an armoured jewel <sighs> four up to pop the shot he can pop the shot okay I don't think there's any way I can chase you down. I'm over six inches probably with all of these units. Mm -hmm. I think we've got to see if we can get that draw. If not, we'll I see what we can do. If you can run away, you won't be able to shoot them. There's no, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Yeah. yeah. Three to hit. No, no! A resounding one. <laughs> oh, for a moment, I started to believe. So with that miss, just maybe putting a hole through his uh, coattails or knocking his cap off, perhaps. Uh, the sniper misses the chance uh, on our target there. Will the game end? It's been a fascinating one, really, uh, really fun. The finish advancing to ambush on the sissy really paid dividends in the oh, early game. It's scary to manoeuvre around this forest. And I, as you know, I did manage to really surround you multiple times, get you hemmed in. But then going for those charges, you know, I had myself set up, but I had to go for yeah. the charges the only way to get you. And. Uh, the yeah, area. just the Basigliari dueling Jewel. off one city squad, killing off the next city squad. The uh, heroic moment where you clambered on top <laughs> of there and started shooting with your pistol down on all sides, scaring the uh, Carcapatios back for a turn. May well have saved you. We'll roll the dice now. 
See if it's an Italian victory against the Finns. And it is. Oh. Ah, GG, my what friend. Game, what a game. That's been just crazy tactical. So fun. I thought I had it in the bag so many times there. The overconfidence at the start where he stood in the middle of the open yeah. field. <laughs> Knowing you wouldn't take the shot. It's been <laughs> such a mobile game, hasn't it? I started with all my sissy up here. Most of them died around the midfield here. Snipers advanced from one hilltop to the next. Just, uh, he's had a cool uh, little adventure yeah. over the course of the game. Uh, but yeah, Carcapacho's just on his tail the whole way, but couldn't chase him down. And the sissy just Food seven months when you yeah, need it. Food bar when I need it. A uh, couple of food bars. Oh, tricky, but I knew it was going to be a tough one and it was a very, very fun game, extremely challenging. The manhunt, you know, it's always just a fun one. It's always yeah. super cinematic. I know it wasn't super historical, uh, you know, but, <laughs> but still a cool game. Uh, anything else to say? Do you prefer the Case Blue? I think Case Blue way better than I Standard think Italian Case Blue Wars. just, yeah, it's, it's, it's standout, isn't it? It works on... Attack or defend. Yeah, the particularly area getting to advance and fire. Two yeah, squads yeah. of those, you're laughing. I like to take two squads of chinders. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of the same deal, isn't it? Yeah, so, re roll on the, the damage on the all sort of cannon. Yeah, really nice. Didn't get to do as much as you would have liked because had to no, dodge that Shrek sure, yeah. for the first few turns. But then I think given another blast, you probably would have finished him off as well. Once he got chopping. Yeah. And that's the good thing about auto cannons. Just love auto cannons, man, in all their forms. Sort of missing one when you've not got one, aren't you? But uh phew, yeah, great game, absolute blur. Looking forward to uh watching it back on the editing process. Anything else to say? What are you thinking? Well, the I mean uh, one thing I was gonna say, because it's I'm really pleased with the most recent FAQ. Yeah. Because being able to take, it may not seem like a big deal, but for the Finns as a minor faction, to be able to take machine guns on their trucks now, which I didn't have one in, but it's nice. And then to be able to take a little car, I didn't have that option before. It gives the minor factions the flexibility with the major factions have a little two-man teams and jeeps and yeah, yeah. coming on, being able that, to be very mobile. Because the, often with the minor factions, you know, in a competitive level, it is quite the challenge. Even with the, you know, the Finns have some really strong rules. Plus one to five, mm -hmm. rifles from ambush, advancing to ambush with a lot of the squads, ranking up to veterans and so on and so forth. You know, really, really cool. Going to leadership 11 with some, you know, with veterans if they lose half the men. All that is very powerful, but Manufacturers don't really have the tools to back the rules, if that makes sense. And yeah. they get fewer rules. Like the Brits have four great rules, the Finns only get three. So that, you know, these little buffs, that FAQ thing, it makes manufacturers, I think, really viable on the competitive level. And, you know, that's a really cool maneuver from Warlord. Yeah, yeah. got to respect that for sure. So, uh, yeah, that would be my number one takeaway. Really pleased. Shame the Flamer lost. Uh, Lost his fuel and dashed off on the first turn, but that was just... Shame for you, great <laughs> success for me. <laughs> I should have known. That was just an omen for the rest of the game. Just could not... I was rolling, you know, I was rolling hot dice on auto checks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, couldn't get twos on combat and sixes on auto checks. What can you do, eh? It's the way she goes. It's the way she goes. It's a dice game. It's just the way of the road, Ricky. So uh, with that, guys, we'll leave you to it. Drop us a comment. Down below, let us know what you think. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, give us a like if you did. Yeah, we really enjoyed playing this. Game. Yeah, we really enjoyed <laughs> it. Um, we don't often play Manhunt, but uh, when we do, it's always a really good laugh. So <laughs> crazy <laughs> things happen. So uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all our weekly bolt action, uh, battle reports and tactics videos. And uh, yeah. With that being said, below, let us know about the little rules. Yeah, yeah, let us know if we miss any rules and stuff like that. There was a few different ones came up today. It was one of those games where we had to get the book out a couple of times. So a uh, very interesting one for sure. Everyone just trying to pull, do everything they could. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, guys, uh, thank you. This has been the Skull Progenium. Hope you found this video interesting and entertaining. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.